Hello guys, thanks for watching this video and what we're going to be doing today is using a Raspberry Pi and a PIR sensor to combine them in a perfect project where it's going to detect whether something's walking past or not. What a project. Um, I've done this with the Arduino before. Um, if you know what the Arduino is, it's similar to the Raspberry Pi but less powerful and more of just electronics. Um, but today I'm going to do it with the Raspberry Pi. My Arduino one has been one of the most popular videos, so hopefully this will be too. Um, what you'll need to do is just put your PIR sensor on a breadboard, making sure that the pins are definitely the right, right way around, which I have drastically failed at. But hey ho, they are perfect. And you can kind of see on here, you, pro you probably can't, but it does say, here it says VCC, here it says out, and here it says ground. It's not going to focus, though. So. Oh, well. So, this one here needs to go to VCC, in other words, 5 volts. So, go to your Raspberry Pi board, and I do believe that this one is 5 volts. Then, your middle one... Let me just get a bit of wire. Your middle one is out, so that needs to go to a GPIO pin. I'll just use GPIO 17. Then finally, uh, let me just grab a jump wire. You need ground, and I know a ground pin is there. There we have it, that's all the wiring you need to do. You also need to get an OS um, on a on an SD. Check out one of my videos to see that. But anyway, now let's get on with some code. Okay, so now let's just really quickly go through the code, and it's not too complicated. The first two lines um, are importing the GPIO library and importing the time library. Um, and then setting our GPIO pin numbering. And then we need to give our input pin a name. And this means um, that we can refer to it later in the Python code. Python code. Um, so it's a variable and we've called it PIR pin and it's equal to 7. And then using GPIO.setup we define our GPIO pin that we just named as PIR pin as an input. Okay, so then what we need to do is we need to add some text so that it's, the user knows it's ready to detect movement. Um, you could leave this out or change it if you want, but it will just print PIR module test, then it will wait for two seconds and then it will print ready. Okay, so what we need to do now is check the input status of the, of the PIR Pi. So we're going to choose a true statement, which is running on an infinite loop. So while true, if gpio.input PIR pin, so if um, if it's sending in voltage, print motion detected, and then wait for a second. And the code will continuously check the PIR pin input, um, and then it will print a line of text if the input goes high. Okay, so that is it. That is all. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave the code on the screen for a few seconds just in case you're still typing it out.